welcome to Grammy School. This is our fifth time getting together with Ariel. Say hi, Ariel. Hi, guys. Isabel. Say hi, Isabel. Hi. <laughs> Karis. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and Jade. Hello. Along with Kenshin. Okay. Let's take a look at what you're doing. This is a really weirdly shaped potato. Pull it up, Karis. <laughs> Very bumpy. And hold up your funny one. Mine is a heart. It's eyes. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Too. Okay. This one has like this one has like ten eyes. It's a lot tighter. You hold one side and just hit it, going the other way. See how simple that is? It is. Now hold this side and try it. Smack, 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 smack. Yeah, you got the idea. Yeah, be, go ahead, like you're angry at it. Yeah! Bad potato! Not straight up and down, you want it to be like this. I don't care. Karis has already added about Karis. two and a half cups of, yes, Karis, <laughs> two and a half cups of frozen Kay. green beans. And carrots. And there are carrots in here. And next she's going to add some corn and some peas. And um, all the way full. And then actually fill it up and then add just a bit more. So Jade right now is taking peeled potatoes and cutting them into bite-sized pieces where they're going to be cooked first until they're just slightly tender the way we did the carrots. Because potatoes, when we mix it all together and cook the vegetables, they should be done at the same time as the frozen vegetables. All right, the girls' bite-sized cut potatoes are on the stove, ready to come to a boil. We'll boil them till they're slightly tender, and then they'll be ready to go in the vegetable mix for our pot pie. Potatoes. These have been boiling for about eight minutes. They were cooked uh, from cold water. Okay, and now I'm lifting some out on a spoon, a slotted spoon. That's a spoon. It's a slotted spoon, so we can test it. Can you hold this for me? Hold the camera for me. See? Uh, hold the camera for me. Okay, now I want you to see the fork going through. See, it's not mushy, but the fork goes through. This means that it's ready, okay? It, we don't want it to get mushy. I'm going to take this. Keep, your, keep it on there. Um, it's off. Okay, heat's off. All right, now I'm going to take these hot potatoes and rinse them with cold water. Takes up some of the extra starch. I'm going to leave them sitting in cold water so that they won't turn or get hard and nasty. The chicken has been baked in water, so just water, in order to cook it. For I used uh, chicken tenders and it's been cooked for an hour and 10 minutes and now I'm going to be slicing it with a pair of kitchen shears in order to make small bite-sized pizza or pizza <laughs> in order to make small bite-sized pieces to add to the pot pie for the topping of our pot pie we're going to be using baking powder biscuit recipe from Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook that's on page whoa page 122 and these are the ingredients we need oven should be preheated to 450 for each batch we'll need two cups of all-purpose flour a tablespoon of baking powder a fourth to a half teaspoon of salt a third cup of shortening and three-fourths cup of milk hi hi Karen. she is right now filling up a two cup measure full of flour and she's going to dump it into this little bowl twice. So we're doubling the recipe. So each recipe calls for two cups of flour and this will be doubled. There are going to be two teams and the girls will be making baking powder biscuits next. And me and Jay's team and my sister will be in this mess. Right. Okay. Wow. So you've got what else? two level tablespoons of this on each one because we're doubling the recipe for each team. And Karis is making the mix of the baking powder. The next is the, w the wet ingredients, so we will wait till the girls come downstairs to put those in. Can I call them now? Yes, go ahead. 
Mixing the dry ingredients for the baking powder biscuits. The baking powder, the salt, and the flour all mixed together. Good. Okay. <laughs> Adding the butter or margarine, or butter or shortening, shortening is recommended, into the rest of the mix, just carefully putting it in. You're going to be using this this tool. It's a pastry blender. You could use it as you could use a potato masher. That's what we did. Yeah. I guess it could work for potato masher. There's another tool in the store that's for potato mashing. So once you've got all that blended in nicely, let your sister use it and then Double. you can add the milk. One and, and a half. One cup. You need one, one and a half. You need one and a half cups all together. Where's the one half? One and a half is this line right here. It's 12 ounces. There we go. Yep, exactly. Now I'll have to get another gallon of milk because we're out of milk. <laughs> okay. Now what do I do? Okay. Good. The milk's mixed in. Now you want to bring the dry from the very edge into the wet and sort of flip it. Just sort of flip it over until it's all moist. <laughs> uh, Charlie! Charlie <laughs> can't. No, it's okay. It's just flour. Um, and dough. Yeah. Alright. Now we want to very gently put it together until it's mixed in without... <laughs> it's not kneading. This is just gently putting it together. It's like a pie crust. Very light and fluffy. Okay, so the dough is going to be rolled out. What you want to do is you want to put a little bit of flour on this dough, on this um, rolling pin, so that it doesn't stick. And then you're going to roll it out till it's about a half an inch thick. And then you're going to use the tiny little the shot glass. Basically, we're going to make small biscuits. You don't want to push it hard, okay. just evenly, yeah. so it's all the just same roll it depth. With the handles. Yes, that's right. Back and forth. Pressing, you need to press. Press it down so it moves it. There you go. Whoa, not off the table. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. Pressing the other direction. Now it's starting to stick to the rolling pin. You need more flour on the rolling pin at this point. That's right. Okay. Good. Hold it. Hold it. We've got some that is the right depth now. Don't make it too thin. It'll be crusty, crispy. You want crispy want biscuits or fluffy ones? Fluffy! Okay. So you want a deeper biscuit. Fluffy. Okay, Ariel. Hiya! We should make cookies. We should make cookies in two weeks. Okay, good job. Well, we should make cookies near Christmas time. Okay. Thanksgiving, I think we should do something pumpkin-y. Pumpkin scones. <laughs> pumpkin Whoa. scones. Okay. Okay, Isabel's cutting hers. Ugh. Her what? <laughs> These are baking powder biscuits. They're going to go on top of your... Basically what it is is a cream of chicken stew, which can be put in a pie. It can be used as a stew with biscuits, and you guys have voted on having biscuits. So we will make this very thick, creamy stew with the vegetables and the meat and the potatoes, and cover okay, them with Jay, cooked Jay, biscuits. Jay, Jay, don't make it too thin. Fine. Jade, you're too thin. Too thin? Well, you're not too thin. I mean, your biscuit does too thin. Yeah, Jade, you're okay. too thin. You need to fat it up. You need to fat it up. Our stew mixture 
is cream of chicken soup and we're going to mix one can of cream of chicken soup with an equal amount of milk and mix the milk in as well. Carefully put that in the pan for me. Let's put it in the pan. The blue one? The blue one. some of the vegetables and put it in. Since I made a quadruple recipe, um, we're going to cook it in a double recipe in two different pots. In the pan. That looks good. You can stop stirring it. Now tap it lightly on the edge to get all the extra oil so it doesn't drip. Just like that. Thank you. Okay, now in order to have equal amounts, girls, <laughs> I'm going to use a scooper. Keeping scooper to get equal amounts. Okay, do that again. A lot of these things can be made in advance. Potatoes, as I said, need to be kept wet so they don't get hard and rubbery. And this cut up chicken is also great to make in advance for a lot of things. It can be used with taco mix to make um, kind of a chipotle meal. All right, let's see how that looks now. Okay, girls, come on over. I want you to see. That is very soupy, isn't it? We want, it, we want it to be a lot Ooh, thicker than that. We want it to be, especially if it was going to go in a pie, if you left too much soupiness, it would make everything soggy. So, <laughs> so we're going to put about twice as much in. Okay, this, see Karis? Let's take a look. This is a nice thickness. We got a lot of meat, potatoes, and vegetables in with the cream of chicken and milk. Now this would be the time to add salt and pepper or if you wanted to add any kind of other kind of spices to it, now would be the time to do that as I'm heating it up. Little good boy, Charlie. Stop it, stop it, Of <laughs> course, you know after you pet the dog, what are you supposed to do? Wash the hands. <laughs> right, wash your hands. Charlie, wappy, wappy. hi Charlie. Me hi Quinton. A beautiful cat. So this is warming fairly slowly. I've got it over medium to medium high heat. I've got it set to number seven. I'm going to stir it occasionally so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And I have another one going over here, which I've just started heating up. And I have prepared a casserole pan, or actually this is a baking pan, or a casserole pan would work just as well, with all the same ingredients. I'm going to bake this in the oven until it's bubbling well. And the others, um, as soon as they're bubbling well and all the frozen vegetables are cooked, as frozen vegetables should be, it'll be ready to serve with biscuits. And this one that's bubbling well, as a lasagna would, um, I, I imagine a half an hour might do it at 350, maybe 45 minutes, but I'll watch for it to start bubbling. And then I can either, this could also be made with a pie crust, um, a dough pie crust put on top and baked until the pie crust is golden brown and it's bubbling. Or you can make biscuits separately as we did. Here's another batch that's ready and out of the oven. And just place them on top later. They would just be placed in a row. And then everyone would get one or two biscuits when they serve theirs up. And that's how I do my Popeye. <laughs> it takes a lot of, it's, it's a lot of preparation, um, but a lot of it can be done ahead of time. So it's useful for that. And it's so delicious. <laughs>